Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Hello friends, in this video I am going to talk about conduction of nerve impulse. Actually how the impulse is going to travel in the axon. In the previous video I talked about synapse that is how the impulse travels between two different neurons. It means how it crosses from one neuron to the another. Now in this video let's focus on the conduction of the nerve impulse. So whenever we talk about nerve impulse we need to understand neurons they are excitable cells. Excitable cells means they get excited on the exposure to the stimulus and these neurons are surrounded by number of neuroglia cells and a fluid that is called as ECF. ECF stands for extracellular fluid. What we need to understand here is that the ECF extracellular fluid is rich in Na plus and the K plus. So we can say that the membranes of neuron is selectively permeable. When I say selectively permeable, it means it allows the selected ions to enter. To be very much specific, the neurons they have ion exchanging pump. So Na plus or the K plus ion gets exchanged between the axon and the ECF through the help of sodium potassium pump. So when we talk about ECF, extracellular fluid has lots of Na plus and the K plus ion. Whenever the impulse is moving, as you can look in the diagram, the impulse is traveling from cyton towards the axon. So from cyton it goes through the axon and from one axon it goes to the dendron of another neuron that is through the help of synapse. Here I am going to focus on only this small area of the axon. So let's draw. This is the area of the axon, a small area and this area is representing the axon. So the space inside this is filled by a fluid called as exoplasm. What are these? These are sodium potassium pump or you can also call it as sodium ion channels. On receiving impulse or stimulus, the ions are going to travel through these pump. But in a normal condition, in case of neuron, inside will be all negative and outside will be all positive charge. So what we can say, under resting condition, inside the neuron, everything is electronegative and outside is all electropositive. And the membrane is bound to have sodium, potassium, pump that will allow the exchange of ions under stimulus. So here we can say it is ECF is having lots of Na plus and K plus ion. So we can say it is more electro positive and inside the axon it will be more electro negative. So outside is more of cation and inside will be more of anion. This is the resting neuron when there is no transfer of the impulse. So this we need to understand under resting condition inside negative and outside positive. This is sodium potassium pump or sodium ion channel that will allow the exchange of the ions between the axon and the ECF. So this neuron is called as polarized neuron. So in this small section now let us understand when the impulse travels what exactly happens. So what we can say that the impulse is conducted in three different forms. So we have three neurons basically polarized, depolarized and the repolarized. So let us assume that this pink color area of the axon indicates that it is the impulse which has reached the, the first site. These are all sodium potassium channels. Now when the impulse is here what will happen the sodium ion channel opens up. Once the sodium ion channels opens up, what happens? All the Na plus ion from the ECF or the extracellular matrix through this potassium ion channel or sodium ion channel enters inside the axon. It means membrane becomes permeable that will cause the influx. Influx means entry of the Na plus inside the exoplasm and all the Na plus from outside will come inside but will come only near the area where the impulse is present. So what will happen here? Outside will become negative and inside will become positive. Why? Because Na plus has entered inside the axon now. So there is more Na plus inside 
and less Na plus outside. So outside it becomes negative, inside it becomes positive. So this pink area of the neuron, it's actually called as a depolarized neuron. Why? Because the charges have been changed. But in the rest of the neuron area, you can see it remains same. So we have first pink part that is called as depolarized neuron. And then we have the bigger portion that is called as polarized neuron. So this is how the impulse is traveling from one part. Now, so we can say in neuron, there is inside positive and outside negatively charged in case of repolarized and when the situation gets reversed it is called as depolarized neuron so let's try and understand what is going to happen now the impulse will travel to the next section that is the second part so i put it in this way first part will become now normal the na plus which was inside will move outside and the K plus from outside will move inside. So we can say for every 3 Na plus, remember very much clearly students, for every 3 Na plus, there is entry of 2 K plus ion just to balance it. So this depolarized neuron will actually move away. You can say once the sodium potassium pump is opened, all the Na plus moves out and for every 3 Na plus, 2 K plus ion enters and this depolarized section again becomes normal and this is called as repolarized neuron. Now let's see that the impulse is somewhere in the center. So the pink area is representing the impulse from the first part of the exon it got transferred to the next part. So the previous one now is called as repolarized neuron middle one is called as depolarized neuron and the last one is called as polarized neuron so now what will happen when the impulse travels further all the na plus now will start moving inside from outside it means depolarization will take place of the polarized neuron so what we need to understand here that the repolarized depolarized and the polarized neuron in this way the stimulus keeps on traveling till the end of the exon or the exonic knob so we can say in repolarized neuron all the Na plus from the exon goes out in ECF and K plus enter the exon but the rule was for 3 Na plus 2K plus has to enter. In depolarized neuron, Na plus ion from ECF moves back into the exon. So it is called as influx of Na plus. But in repolarized neuron, we will say efflux of Na plus ion. And now when the impulse reaches to the last part of the neuron, so again I have to show it in the pink color. So this pink color line is actually indicating how the impulse is traveling. Initially it was in the first part, then it got transferred into the second part, then into the third part. As the impulse travels, we can see that the charges are getting exchanged. Outside positive becomes negative and inside negative becomes positive. So when we talk about the last part, the impulse now has traveled to the end of the exon and after that it becomes, it goes in the exonic knob where it gets packed in the form of vesicles and through synapse it gets transferred to the next neuron. This is how the impulse travels or we can say there is a conduction of impulse in the neuron. So this is depolarized neuron again. So what we need to understand therefore as the impulse travels across the exon or we can say across the neuron to be very much specific it is exon the Na plus ion moves it becomes permeable it allows the exchange of the ions and due to this polarized repolarized and depolarized condition the impulse travels through the exon hope friends you have understood the concept of conduction of impulse do give a like to the video if you have understood and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe till then this is sunil sir saying goodbye to you thank you very much stay hard stay blessed study well study hard